So we are back, I'm now with Elena and from uh, Leo Pharma and we'll talk about a business case on the 72010 model. I'm Wagner Casimiro and this is the Espresso Tree. First of all, I'd like that you could explain better your organization and the whole uh, that you have in your organization. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so, uh, my name is, as you said, Helena Bargiel, and I work as the Commercial Excellence Manager at uh, Leo Pharma in Region International. Uh, Leo Pharma is a foundation, as you might know, and we have been on the market for 110 years. That means old traditions, uh, stability, customers know us, uh, but that is also, there are good parts with that, but there are also hurdles. Uh, perhaps being a little bit too confident, too, co uh, too uh, less urgency, meaning that uh, the product they are selling themselves. And now with increased competition, we need to do something differently. And when looking at what we are, have been doing so far, we, we have plans, we have trainings, uh, we uh, have uh, dashboards and KPIs, and uh, we have results. But we felt that there was something missing. The question was, do we do the right thing? And when uh, searching on the web, I came across the 702010 uh, Institute and methodology. And I think we found the missing piece called the performance detective. And the, the charm of that is that you use the data that's all mostly already available in the company, combine that differently in a very structured way. And having that, you also start to see what to look out for, what are the true gaps. And also, what is the benefit of this methodology is that you don't use anybody else's benchmark. You use your own. Every company has top performers. See what they are doing different. See how that could be iterated to other people, to the average performers, just by doing, closing that gap between strategy and execution. I promise you, that the reven your revenue will increase double digit. Okay, and do you have some case using and applying the 72010 model that you can share? Uh, yes, uh, uh, I, we have rolled it out in, or I have rolled it out actually, in uh, four markets. We have rolled it out in Algeria, China, Russia and Brazil. And uh, there are differences of course, but there are also similarities. One thing that we have seen is that the data that's already available in all markets are not combined showing the full picture. We have been looking from a sales perspective, we have been looking from a marketing perspective, from an HR perspective. But in order to have somebody perform, do something for the company, you have to hire them first place. And you have to know what you're hiding for, what are you searching for, what are they supposed to do and how are they supposed to do it. You have to have all those elements together. And regardless of market, we have seen that this methodology will have an impact on the organizational structure or the way of working. And are the top managers satisfied? <laughs> now they are. In the beginning, uh, they, uh, they told me, I don't want another training session. I cannot afford and will not allow my people to be off the field for more days. I would actually like you to decrease it by 50%. Okay. Wonderful number. But with improved performance. Okay. Thank you.